In the world of international trade, container ships serve as the primary means of transporting billions of dollars worth of cargo across vast oceans. Container ships, which traverse boundless seas, play a central role in international trade. Shipping goods by sea makes a significant contribution to the global economy, even though land and air logistics have made significant advancements. Container ships remain the backbone of the global cargo transportation industry, with around 6,000 ships operating throughout the year. In recent years, many containers have been increased in size, doubling their previous capacity. Modern container ships are even capable of carrying up to 24,000 TEUs in a single shipment. Though they are equipped with advanced interlocking systems to secure container stacks, losing containers at sea has become a common occurrence. Between 2020 and 2021, nearly 3,000 containers were lost at sea, primarily due to storms and strong winds. This number increased by 400% compared to the previous period, which recorded only 780 lost containers at sea. As a result, many shipping companies have to bear high fines and expensive insurance premiums, ultimately leading to significant losses. Experts have concluded that this phenomenon is caused by several factors one of which is adverse weather conditions, such as strong winds and large waves that can topple containers off the ship. The second factor is overloading, where ships that are too full of containers can cause them to fall when moving or being lowered. The third factor is human error, such as inexperienced drivers or safety rule violations, which can also lead to containers falling off the ship. Additionally, damage to the ship's structure, such as leaks or cracks, can also cause containers to fall, depending on the cause and the type of goods stored inside. When containers are lost at sea, the response varies, although all containers are usually insured. Losing cargo in the middle of the sea is always a challenging situation, especially for the owners of the cargo, especially if the container contains hazardous materials. In some cases, salvage operations must be carried out if the lost container contains hazardous materials that could endanger the environment, such as acids, alcohol, detergents, or manufactured products. However, it is not always possible to identify the type of cargo that is lost. When containers containing hazardous materials are lost at sea, the ship's owners must inform the maritime authorities where the incident occurred. Salvage operations are usually carefully planned. First, a specialized salvage vessel will head to the location where the container was lost, although finding the exact location can be a very difficult task, especially in rough sea conditions. Once the container's location is found, remotely operated underwater vehicles, ROVs, will be deployed to locate the precise spot where the container landed. ROVs are equipped with cameras and lighting systems to assist operators in seeing and controlling equipment while working underwater. In many cases, lost containers have become habitats for marine life, making them difficult to locate. The advanced robotic arms of the ROVs will attach securing lines to all four corners of the container. Once the chains are attached, a crane will lift the container to the surface and lower it onto the ship. In 2019, the cargo ship, One Apus, with a capacity of 14,000 TEUs, experienced a major accident while crossing the Pacific Ocean, losing more than 1,800 containers in a storm. This incident resulted in significant losses for the company and posed a threat to fishermen and the marine environment. The One Apis departed from Shanghai to Los Angeles with thousands of containers containing various goods. However, while crossing the Pacific Ocean, 
the ship suddenly encountered a very strong storm with strong winds and large waves that pushed the ship to its side, causing many containers to fall into the sea. In addition to weather, overloading, or ship damage, the danger of piracy has also threatened the security and smoothness of international trade at sea. One criminal activity frequently carried out by pirates is stealing containers in the middle of the sea. This is a challenging task for the pirates. They often steal containers that have run aground due to accidents or bad weather that caused the cargo ship to run aground. Pirates also frequently attack container ships while sailing in unsafe waters, such as the waters off Somalia or the Strait of Malacca. Pirates who successfully steal containers usually sell them to gangs on the coast or take the goods inside them for illegal resale. According to data from the International Chamber of Commerce ICC, the number of container theft incidents by pirates increased by 5% in 2020. A total of 3,722 containers were stolen by pirates worldwide, with a total loss of $15 million. To address this issue, container shipping companies must enhance container security and surveillance. Modern cargo ships are typically equipped with advanced security systems, including electronic monitoring and security teams that are trained. Based on data from the International Maritime Organization IMO, approximately 10% of containers moved worldwide experience losses due to containers falling into the sea. This indicates that container loss at sea is a serious issue that requires special attention. However, there is no ultimate solution to prevent container loss at sea. Nevertheless, some companies have developed container security systems that can help reduce the risk of such incidents. One example is container locking systems that can securely lock containers to the ship, minimizing the risk of containers falling when the ship is in motion or being lowered into the water. Container locking is a crucial aspect of ensuring the safety of transported goods. There are various technical solutions that have become an integral part of the container security process, and leading engineers have developed various locking mechanisms. One key player in the container security process is Steve Dorr, a skilled worker who works at ports and terminals, responsible for managing cargo loading and unloading from ships. Their role is crucial in the logistics chain, working diligently to manage containers and ensure they are securely locked onto the ship. This is important to prevent theft, damage, or accidental openings during transit. There are various locking mechanisms used by Steve Dorr to secure containers tightly. One key component in container shipping is twist locks. These mechanisms are designed to secure containers on top of stacks where traditional lashing bars may not reach. Automatic twist locks use hydraulic or electromechanical systems to lock and unlock twist locks with plugs at the corners of the container. When activated, this system extends or retracts the locking pins. This automated process eliminates the need for human intervention, reducing the time and labor required for container handling. Automatic twist locks have a similar carrying capacity to manual or semi-automatic twist locks, ranging from 25 to 35 tons. However, their automated operation offers higher efficiency, speed, and accuracy at container terminals, with high volumes and in situations where quick handling is needed. In general, containers are secured both vertically and horizontally to distribute the forces generated by wind and ship movement. In addition to twist locks, shipping companies also use lashing bars and turnbuckles to enhance the securing process. Lashing bars are sturdy and durable, suitable for securing containers. Workers insert them through the plugs at the corners of the container and tighten them using turnbuckles. This is effective in keeping containers in place and preventing them from shifting or overturning during voyages. 
The combined use of lashing bars, turnbuckles, and twist locks creates a robust system capable of withstanding dynamic forces at sea. Furthermore, companies also utilize technology to monitor weather conditions and the ship in real time, allowing them to take preventive actions before container loss incidents occur.